Today I want to talk to you about what might happen when you start installing AutoCAD or when you acquire AutoCAD. Um, long gone is the day when you bought AutoCAD, you just got AutoCAD. Now you get AutoCAD with what we call specialized tool sets. Um, and if you traditionally had the product design suite and now you've got the product design and manufacturing collection, when you get receive AutoCAD, you'll see that you'll get a whole lot of other additional flavors of AutoCAD. Um, and I'm just going to go through two of those flavors, um, AutoCAD Electrical and AutoCAD Mechanical, just for the installation of it. Because there are some settings that you, you, you might want to do, um, you know, sort of to, to make sure that when you are working, the standards that you use are the standards that you um, actually use in your, in your country. So with AutoCAD Electrical, you know, once you go and install, um, you know, they are, you, you need to go and configure the software as well. And this um, is true for, for all the AutoCADs that you will be getting. AutoCAD MEP, um, AutoCAD Plot, um, you know, AutoCAD Raster Design. Uh, you know, it's, you know, sort of very, very um, quick and easy just to go next, 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 next. But what happens is when you get into the software, you'll find that, you know, in AutoCAD Electrical, your symbols are maybe too small or too large because they have been configured to work in inches or millimeters. First things first, we have to accept the EULA. And from that, you'll see there that uh, um, we asked to configure the installation. Now, the first thing that you'll notice, there's a little um, exclamation mark there. And this exclamation mark tells us that there's already been an AutoCAD 29 installation done on this machine. So what happens now is when you do install all these different AutoCADs, it'll first put the base AutoCAD on, so like your, your, your um, your core AutoCAD, and then it will add all the modules onto it that are required. So you'll have your core AutoCAD, which might be a very, very long, large installation, but when you start adding on the AutoCAD Electrical, AutoCAD Mechanical, those installations will be a, a lot um, shorter in time because the, the bulk of the installation has already occurred. Um, once you've done that, um, the main thing here is to get, one of, well, one of the main things here is to get your manufacturers, okay? Um, yes, you can go and select all the manufacturers, but there is a lot of content over here. So what I do suggest is that you go and take, you, you only install what you need. Just remember, if you do start using a new manufacturer, um, you are able to go and um, add it additionally afterwards. Scrolling down, uh, this, is, this is probably one of the most important things, your standard. Um, if you choose the wrong standard over here, you're going to end up, as I said, either having your symbols too large or too small. Okay, so for us, we use the IEC standard. If, say, for instance, we have the JIC standard, what happens is, um, as I said, the symbols will be um, not will not be the correct size for your drawing. Additionally, you can create um, additional uh, symbol libraries. Okay, and I'm just going to choose IEEE. And once again, if you're an old AutoCAD user and you have used your Express Tools throughout these years, um, you can go and add it to this installation. So once you've done that, close up and you can hit on install. The second software that you, you probably will install, um, coming from a, a product design, certain design and manufacturing collection, would be the AutoCAD Mechanical, which we have traditionally installed. Um, you know, once clicking on next, uh, you'll see once again see that we can configure the installation. Um, and you once again, you also see that there's a little exclamation mark telling us that we've already got AutoCAD 2019 software installed on here. If I click on the AutoCAD Mechanical 2019, I will browse down, and the, the important part over here is your content library selection. So, you know, you want to, um, you know, just install um, what you need. You don't want to install everything, it just, you know, takes up hard drive space. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is that there's no unselect all, there's a select all. But there's no unselect all. So, you know, you've got to go and, you know, tick off everything that you don't need one by one. And, and it's quite, quite a pain. But, you know, we, we do what we have to do. Okay, so once, once that is done, um, you know, then you also have to choose your standard content center library. Content, yeah, standard content library. Um, this basically will choose between whatever you've chosen over here. Okay, so... International Standard ISO. Take my rational. Maybe I'll put in the American ANSI standards as well. Um, and uh, and yeah, so so those are the two main things that you have to do. Select uh, you know in your AutoCAD mechanical. Um, yes, again, once it's got your Express tools, 
which you can either install or uninstall. Um, so, you know, if you have been an Express Tools user for, for many years, um, you probably want to keep it because it is quite a nice tool set. So once you've done that, you're all good to go and you can start installing. So there we have it, you know, AutoCAD Electrical, AutoCAD Mechanical, uh, two great software packages, um, now all included in your, um, you know, your, your, your normal AutoCAD. So you don't just get AutoCAD now, AutoCAD with specialized tool sets. Thank you very much for watching.